So last night, what happened was this broke. You don't need to see me, you need to see the people. <laughs> Both of them broke. So the top one broke, the top clothes rack broke, and it fell on the bottom one, and it broke that off. This probably been on here since my wife has been here, 20 something years at least, at least 20 years. You see the plastic just broke, crack. So I was trying to buy another one, but since it's so old, they only have uh, inch and three eighths. And the pipe that I have is only one inch. So this fits perfectly. You see that? The ones I bought, inch and three eighths, they don't work. So we had some stuff around the house already, which was black tape. So some black tape, electrical tape, pair of scissors, of course. And I'm gonna cut, cut enough to fit inside that will give it, since it's a rubber insulation, and that will make it fit in. And I don't have to buy nothing new. So basically I have to cut probably uh that. Take a pair, take some electrical tape. I'll put it on top of here. So this is all modifications we're doing here. I'll put it on top of here. Then I'm gonna take some electrical tape as such. I gotta to try to find a way to hold this. And I'm gonna tape it around, get it tight. I want it to be tight. Let's see if we can get it. I already got one on now already and it's working fine. And so we're gonna do this one. And this is, this is probably the cheapest way I can fix it with parts I already have at home. And since uh, I got electrical tape, I got so much, I needed some for something else with my headphones. Because they don't line up because this piece is, this mount is bigger, much larger. So it's probably around, uh, according to the other one. So what I need to do, put the pipe in, hit the pipe. And then I'm going to use my level. All right, we'll take this screwdriver. And we shouldn't have an electrical back there. So we drill that hole. Oh, we don't need that one. We need the one on the top. Well, should have kept the clothes out. All right, so we got that. So now we can take the, uh, we can put our screw back in. Phillips head, put that back in. I'm gonna take these two, plug them in. So we'll take this off to keep it from, you know, wobbling, which would cause uh, some play in it. And over time, it might, uh, it might give out on us. So let's see if we can get this in here. Screw. I'm gonna try to lock that side down. You got a tight bar. Boom. Electrical tape, some uh, insulation for AC, and some longer screws and some anchors. I save, actually, I'm gonna take these $4 clips that I bought back. pretty much the size of the ones I already got. The more shower curtains. What these probably are made, well it says closet poles, metal poles. But these are too big. Let me take this off the camera. Take it off the tripod. You can see, this is what we have. These on here. Not gonna move because I got the insulation on. I kept the old bracket on because I think it's strong enough. It's, it's a little bit stronger than the other one. And I don't seem like it will be a problem, but if it is, then I have two more of these that I can fit on this side. Yeah, that's just going. Oh, how many screws I have in <laughs> Two. Oh, that's right. Well, this is made for the show. 
so I could just drill into the shelf um, if that fails, which I doubt if it will. Or oh, I'll just put a screw in there. I'll throw a screw in there. And then I'll... And the wife can be happy because she's got clothes all over the floor. Those metal ones are stronger than this little piece of plastic that we have on there. Which look like it almost just uh, just corrosion from it's like it was weighing out to the, the point where the weight of her clothes uh, ended up just cracking it in half. Which was strange because the top one cracked, <laughs> fell on the bottom, and then the bottom one cracked. <laughs> so all the clothes fell. So that's it. I'm done. Thank you for watching.